It's all about how it sounds, I think, to me, naturally. Picking up stuff at a scrapyard or a recycling center and hitting it and saying, okay, there's something there. I am Paul Rudolph. I am a composer, instrument builder. I'm the vocal music director for Sesame Street, but there's a very big difference between what I do with them and what I do in Glank. Puppets are nice and fluffy and light, and these are metal and sharp. Glank began years ago when I was in graduate school. I did a composition for my masters called Glank, and I just continued my interest in making instruments out of found objects. When I got to New York, <clears throat> my goal was to kind of ramp up the musicality, and I gradually moved about 800 pounds of instruments across country. Smog check tanks from my mechanic. Sound discs from an old music box. The 90 millimeter artillery shell. Standard barbecue sized propane tank. The cutting board I found that Kinko's was throwing away. What your friend made uh, here is something called an idiophone. And you have to be careful how you say that. There's no T in idiophone. Basically, it's a tuned percussion instrument. Hi there, I'm uh, Dr. John Powell, the author of How Music Works. Uh, a book which explains how music works. If he was very careful and wanted to do so, he could actually tune this thing to being the same as an instrument in an orchestra. I'm actually creating one little pitch out of this one area. Now that's uh, very similar to the, the thing we did when we were kids at school, when you put a ruler on the edge of a desk and you twang it. If I make it shorter, that the, the pitch of the note goes up because there's less material to vibrate backwards and forwards, and it's doing it more frequently. And a higher frequency gives you a higher note. I found these motorcycle gears and saw blades at a basically kind of a, a junk part place in Burbank. You know, if you hit them with something soft, you're not gonna get the full resonance. When you hit the bar with the stick, a ripple of energy travels through the bar and through the stick and then races back to the point where the stick and the bar are in contact. The wave in the steel gets back to the point of impact first, then it finds a stick still there. It bounces the stick off, but that interferes with the quality of the note you get. And in that case, you'll find that the wave of the sound that you're trying to produce, the dinging noise, is muffled in some way because the stick's still on the surface. If the wave from the stick makes it first, the stick bounces off the bar before the wave from the note gets back to it in the steel. And so you get a really clean ringing note. If you want to hit a metal bar and get a very pure ringing note off it, you want a, a beater which is hard, rigid, and short. Kids are inspired by the shows because they see these objects that they might not think of as instruments, and that's my goal, is to show them what, what can be. 